So Brittany Venti is acting a fool, attacking Rolo Tomato. I don't support Rolo Tomato, but anytime Brittany Venti speaks, an angel dies, loses its wings, and stubs its toe on the nightstand. Let's see what she has to say. Absolute melty? Why don't you just leave? George is like 50 years old threatening to have a melty. He's essentially threatening to take your income away and go off the rails because you made him look bad. So wait. When Rolo Tomasi strikes people, it's bad because he's threatening to take their income away. But when I make a stream about you and your boy toy, think before you sleep... And you, your boyfriend, and all your fans strike my video down. Give me a strike. Get me demonetized. What? How's? How long has it been? Three months. But looking at your ET looking ass face, three months you've gotten me demonetized. I've been demonetized for a quarter of a year. Because I talked the truth about you and think before you sleep. Me and Ribby were making thousands of dollars every month. Let's calculate this. Let me just be conservative estimate. Brittany Venti, you cost me $9,000 because you or your boyfriend striked down my live stream about you being cuckolds and sellouts. How many comments could that have bought me? Like 15 entire comic books. $9,000. Eh, we'll do 10, 30, 50 ounces of marijuana. I could have got a mortgage on a condo. I could have bought another Chevy. I probably could have bought two Chevy Luminas. I could have bought a new PC rig. But woe is me. What, what, uh, Rolo Tomasi strikes someone down and that's horrible. But you and your limp Alfredo Noodle boyfriend get me demonetized, strike my channel down, and it's all, it's all fine and dandy. I got to calm down. I don't want to get another strike from YouTube or Brittany Venti. But I'm feeling very emotional about this right now because she has lost me money. Personally, I would think twice before having him on a show and risking my livelihood. This internet ghetto is also renowned for expressing their disdain for the other gender and not being wanted by them. It's kind of like when woke feminists say that if you don't date them, you're XYZ phobic, even if you personally just find them unattractive. Or in the Red Pill Manosphere's case, it's women having too high standards and not wanting to endure their personalities. Endure. Oh, you wouldn't want to be with someone? Someone like that I'm shocked. The Manosphere gives young boys and men dating advice, sometimes under the guise of self-improvement, and usually it's something about how to attract women. Show of hands if you're single. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. So, women don't have too high of standards. Is that what you're saying? Let me look up something real quick. Here we go. <sighs> no, that's not it. Let's see if women's standards are too high. Only 15% of men. No, 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 no. Only 15% of women are willing to date a man who is 5 foot 8. 15% of women are willing to date a man who is five foot eight, a man who is above average height. But you know, women don't have high standards, says the woman. Women don't have high standards, says the woman. Another example in the litany of examples why I do not give a singular fuck about what women think. I don't care. I look at what they do and I act accordingly. What women think, what Brittany Venti thinks, is useless to me.
the way the way she thinks, the way most women think, the majority, the, the 99.999% of women think is garbage tier. You're, you're going up to a African tribe in 8,000 BC. I'm just, uh, humans weren't around then. I guess it might have been. You're going to the African tribe in 200 BC and asking them which restriction enzyme you should use to make the plasmid of your choice. They're not going to have any idea what you're talking about. That's the, the level of ignorance is what women believe today. Their average thought process is the same thing. I don't care what they think. Show of hands if you want to do the Myron approach and have multiple wives. Okay. Now, motherfuckers who can't get one girl want to have multiple. The absolute degenerate. and high standards that they claim to hate about feminism is absolutely rampant in these parts. And worst of all, the Red Pill Manosphere has co-opted my favorite movie, The Matrix. Which is why criticizing them is met with their response of, everyone I do Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at this dude's tattoos. This is the worst tattoo I've seen in a long time. But this dude's skinny fat. He's got no abs. He's skinny fat. He has no veins. And this is his snake tattoo. I got a snake tattoo on my right arm. You know the difference is? It's lined up so my... It's lined up so my bicipital veins are bulging outside the snake skin. Crazy, right? Crazy. Don't like is part of the matrix. Even if you're very vocal on opposing woke ideology, they don't really care. It's very much a us versus them mentality. You're either with them or you're against them. That's the problem. You want to fight against the matrix? I mean, Rolo, who's like 53, um, he's got better arms than Tate, but that's still, that's not saying much. Don't look at this guy. Look at the, look at the Hollywood moguls who are telling you that, that Margot Robbie should be Barbie. In this video, George talks about Margot Robbie being casted as Barbie and how she is too old to play Barbie. And how her being 32 years old in the film as opposed to 25 is literally the same thing as race swapping a character. If you had a problem, with miscasting of, let's see, a black woman as what, Marie Antoinette? I'm trying to think of some other, like, where we're doing like, sort of like either gender swaps or we're doing like racial swaps. If you have a problem with that, you should have a problem about, with, with Margot Robbie as well. And if you don't view her being 32 as opposed to 25 as literally being the same as a race swap, well, then you're- Oh, it is the same, they're two different bodies. Now, I here's my opinion on Barbie. I don't watch bullshit, so I don't care. It's like some dude going to who's like, bro, we we need to talk about the the quality of fecal matter coming out of the sewage plant. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, people used to eat a lot of corn, so it gave me texture to chew on. But now people don't eat corn as much, and it just slides down the throat. I'm like, get away from me. Why are you consuming fecal matter? You're disgusting. That's why I have no opinion on Barbie. I'm not watching Barbie. I don't care about Barbie. I don't care about any of that shit. Why are you surprised a woke movie casts woke actors and doesn't care about age? I don't care. Stop asking me to review Barbie, guys. I don't care. You're kicked out of the club. Because I got all these guys who were formerly red pill. Now suddenly they're playing sneaky fucker game.
the same game that they criticize other guys, oh, male feminists. You're basically a male feminist right now, guys. How dare you? How, you're a disgrace to the manosphere. You're a disgrace to the, like, to, you, give me their badge. Turn in your man card. <laughs> Turn in your man card. Why, why is Rolo, why is Rolo doing an interview in the show apartment of a college apartment? Why are you here, bro? Stop this foolishness. The redheaded libertarian ran a poll on if 25-year-old Margot Robbie is hotter or 33-year-old Margot Robbie is hotter. So I did an identical poll, except for one thing. I switched the photos. I'm Jennifer. <sighs> Another ad. I'm Jennifer Garner asking for money. I'm a woman. No, I'm not giving you money. I'm not doing it. But give me money at cash app slash cash sign under chronic. That's cash app slash cash sign under chronic.